Hola Data Geeks, thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna to talk about using the Tesla Supercharger network from San Diego to Santa Barbara in my Model S. So the first thing I wanna talk about is when you actually should travel. So basically when you're going from San Diego to Santa Barbara, you have to drive past LA or like through LA really, which totally blows. There's no getting around it. LA traffic is some of the worst in the country probably the world, who knows. Seriously, look at this. This is the 405 freeway in Los Angeles, backed up for about 10 miles. It's almost nostalgic, Christmas-like. I don't know how you want to describe it, but I have no idea how anybody puts up with this kind of thing on a regular basis. But if you go during the week, so a weekday, and around 10, 11 a.m., I found that to be the best time. Now, there's a caveat. So with your Tesla, hopefully, what you have are those clean air vehicle stickers that we get here in California that allow us to drive in the carpool lane. So definitely, definitely get those. I think it's 22 bucks. You can fill out the DMV form online, mail it in, it takes a few weeks if you don't have them already. Absolutely a must, because that is gonna save you from having to sit through a lot of that traffic. Because no matter what time of day it is, there's going to be traffic in LA. That's just how it is. Okay. So when you're going there or coming back, try to do it during a weekday. Fridays coming back down south to San Diego are the worst. And that's because most people in LA realize that it sucks and they wanna to get to San Diego, which is like paradise. Yes, I'm biased, leave a comment, be angry, I don't care. But point being, a ton of people are fleeing LA to escape it on Fridays. So if you can come back down to San Diego, not on a Friday, but before then, even Thursday, then you're gonna be a lot better off. Now during the week, during an earlier time of day where you're driving through LA, maybe around lunchtime, still gonna hit some traffic, but far better than the, uh, the rush hour traffic that you get later in the day. All right, so when you're heading up, same deal, avoid Sundays. Sundays are the worst because that's when everybody from LA that is down here in San Diego realizing they made a horrible life choice when they decided on LA versus San Diego. They're heading back to, to their homes and the traffic going north is just really, really bad. So avoid weekends altogether and try to avoid a Friday. Go around, try to leave around 10 a.m. and get through LA before rush hour hits. The next thing I have for you is how to actually charge. Now there's a couple options. So hopefully your car, if you have one of the higher end model Teslas, like a, a 85 or a 90, you probably don't have to charge at all. So kudos to you. You can stop watching now, or maybe you know just feel my grief and pain as somebody that doesn't have one of the higher end Teslas. With the lower end Teslas, like the Model S60, like I have, you're not gonna be able to make it all the way. You're gonna need to stop at least once. And so depending on the traffic, you're gonna want to either stop in uh, Temecula on the going north or to Oxnard. Now I would stick with the Oxnard one if you can because going straight through is gonna be better. You're still gonna hit a ton of traffic if you try to go around through Temecula to you know, through the east side of it. But in either case, Temecula and Oxnard both have really great stops. They're both at malls that have, you know, really nice places to eat if you wanna get some food, uh, walk around at the shops, grab a coffee at Starbucks, whatever you wanna do, they're nice places to stop. They're not like some of the other ones which are just kind of hole in the wall uh, Tesla charging stations. So that's heading up to Santa Barbara from San Diego. Now, when you're coming back, I would charge fully in Santa Barbara and then come down and stop at the San Juan Capistrano stop. Uh, it's a smaller one, but there's a really cool guy there. Uh, I think his name is Tim. Uh, he's an attendant and he'll actually, you know, keep your place in line. I think maybe if you slip him five bucks or something, he'll even, you know, pull your car in and charge it for you or whatever. But the reason I recommend this one is because there's an awesome, awesome Mexican food place right there to eat. It's super authentic and they have TVs. You can kind of get a torta or something and just hang out, watch some TV, relax, whatever. Across the street, there's tar Starbucks and there's another coffee shop around there as well. So uh, if you're like me and you like coffee and, and eating, then, then that is a great stop when you're heading south. And by that point, you've already beat LA. You've already passed all the way through LA and then it's you know just pretty smooth sailing on from there down home to San Diego. All right, so that's the networks and where to go and where to stop. 
in Santa Barbara, if you're staying at a hotel like I have to do for work, there are a few options. And if you can afford the higher end ones, hey, more power to you. I think there's a place called the Canary Hotel or the Canary Inn. And I think it's 450, 500 bucks a night, something like that. They have a charger, great place. Um, I've been there, I haven't stayed there, uh, but my, I have friends that have, so fantastic if you can get it. And hey, guys, if you wanna offer me a night there and I'll talk about it on my YouTube channel, then absolutely, let me know. Um, but if you're like me and you need to stay within a budget because you're, you know, it's a, it's a work trip, then I recommend the Best Western Beachside Inn. So this one is right uh, on the beach and close to State Street, so kind of the main drag there in Santa Barbara. And they have a charger. It's nothing, you know, not super fancy, not super big. There is one, um, but it's nice. It's a cheap place, right on the beach, great location, and they have a charger. So that's where I'd recommend if I was staying in Santa Barbara, kind of on a budget, work focus, that kind of a thing. Now, if you're not going all the way to Santa Barbara, then you can stop in Carpinteria. Carpentry is a beautiful place, little tiny town, and they have uh, the Holiday Inn there has two state, two charging stations at their hotel. So I've stayed there many times and that's a great place, brand new place, so it's really nice and quiet and convenient. Uh, across the street, there are, is a place called Tar Pits Park. It's kind of a, I don't know, unique spot on the beach here or on the coast, a uh, great place for running or just hanging out on the beach and all that kind of stuff. So uh, Carpentry doesn't have a lot to offer, but if you're just traveling, that's not a bad place to, uh, to stay overnight. So there you have it, my tips for traveling from San Diego to Santa Barbara and back using the Tesla Supercharger network. Uh, I hope this helps you in your travels, and if so, please leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks, and I'll see you back here next time. Hey, thanks for checking out my video here. As you can see, we've got a lot of work to do in figuring out how all the data behind everything actually affects our everyday lives. So. Stay tuned, every week I've got a new video coming here on this channel, as well as my blog at bensollins.com where you can find code samples and all other kinds of articles and stuff there. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you back here soon.